Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create this beautiful attendance and overtime dashboard in Microsoft Excel. We have used here data entry form to take the input of attendance and the overtime. So let me show you first this dashboard sheet. Here we have various slicers like supervisor, designation, month and leap type, attendance and then we have department also. You can, you can click on any slicer, the whole charts will be changed accordingly like this and here we are showing the overtime by employees also we have taken the dummy names of the employees but you can change it with your original employee names now let me show you the attendance sheet here we have the attendance sheet wherein you can mark the attendance for the employees this is this is a protected sheet you can't enter the data manually here you have to use the user form to add a new record you just need to click on the add new record button and and this user form will be popped up as you click on this button here you can select the use here you can select the employee id so just select any of the employee id then the employee name, supervisor, department and the designation of that person will appear automatically. We have the next column as date. By default, it will show the today's date. However, you can change it using this calendar, using this, using this calendar button. Just click on that. This calendar will be popped up and you can select any date here, whatever you want. And then you can select the attendance whether it's a present, absent, leave or half day. Let's say I'm just marking it as present. Because we are marking it as a present, we have to take the in time and the out time of the employees. To enter the in time, to enter the in time, we will use the time picker. So let's click on this time picker icon. And we will select the time. So let's say I'm saying at 9.30 a.m. is the in time. And I'm saying save in 45 p.m. is the out time. Automatically it will show the total hours here. 10.3. The regular hours. The regular hours was decided as 8.5 so 1.8 hours is the overtime okay because this is not a leave so you can leave it as a blank or you can select any and you can put some remarks whatever you want and just click on submit as you click on submit just close this form now you can see a new entry for that particular employee and the whole information is appearing here okay everything and this is the entry for the 26 August. So this will appear on the dashboard also automatically. You can see the last entry. All right, friends. So everything will appear on the dashboard automatically as you make, as you make any change in the attendance. Now, let me show you the next sheet, which is the employee master. Here we have the employee ID, employee name, supervisor name, department name, and the designation of the employee and pre-decided regular hours for that particular employee. If employee are doing more than these hours, that will be considered as overtime. Now let me show you the list sheet also. In the list sheet, we have the status or the attendance status and here we have the leave type. Okay, so this is these are the leave type. In the end, we have put any also. Wherever it is not applicable, wherever leave is not applicable, you can select that. Now, let me show you the data entry form first, how we have created that. So let's go to the developer tab and the visual basic. We have this attendance info form. Okay, now let me show you the coding for each part. So first of all, let's double click on the user form. On the user form activation, we have put this code. So first of all, we are checking whether we have created the list in the combo box one or not. The combo box one is the employee ID, this combo box. 
so if that is not then we are calling this refresh drop down list sub procedure that is available here i'll explain you that and by default we are making the text box 5 dot value as today's date text box 5 is the date text box this one now here we are taking first of all sh as worksheet and assigning the sh to the employee master so we have a employee master sheet here you can see this employee master okay and then we are creating the list using this loop for employee id and then for attendance from the list sheet and then for the leap type also okay so these drop downs are created here and then on this clear button we are calling this reset form reset form is nothing but you can see it is making all text boxes and the combo boxes as blank okay and the text box 5 which is the date by default it will be today's date it is making the visible to the txt id and txt label that is this one so here whenever you will update any record it is capturing that so let me show you how we will update this so to update any record what you have to do just select the id of that record and click on update record the whole information will be pre-filled and you can change anything let's say i'm saying the out time was 630 and select here 30 pm okay and just uh, uh, submit that so we have this time now and we can see everything is changed now over time is also changed okay and similarly everything will be changed on the dashboard also whenever you will make any change all right friends and to delete that, that record you can simply select the id of that particular record click on delete button it will confirm and just say yes that record is deleted and that is deleted from here also you can that will be deleted from here also if it is not you can go to the data tab and refresh all okay so everything will be refreshed so friends uh, that is how you can update and delete the record and uh, i will show you the code also for that so let me show you the code for the submit button in the submit button first we are checking the few important part like combo box one and two should not be blank and then we are taking here few variables you can see that is attendance seat because we will update the data in the attendance seat we are taking few variable like row number max id and then max id we are assigning whatever is the maximum value or maximum id available in our data because we will enter the data in the attendance seat so we are making sure to unprotect that because that will be a protect that will be a protected seat okay so just unprotect that and then we are checking the txt id value is blank or not so that txt id is this one if we will use the update then that txt id will have the id of id of particular record to update that otherwise that will be blank so that means if txt id is blank we are inserting the record otherwise we are updating the record if we are inserting the record then we are assigning the row number as the last row so we are using here the count a function plus four because we have three rows blank on the top then one is the header so the four rows and the i and the id will be the whatever is the maximum id plus one in the update case we will use the match function and we will match the value of the txt id in the column a let me show you in the data first so that i can explain you better here we are we have these three rows blank and another one is the header so data is starting from row number five i'll show you just check the headings this is row number five okay so we are taking the data from here and the last row we are checking the using the count a and if we are updating any record just just using the match function of that particular id okay so same thing we are doing here and after that we are updating these value from the different text box and the combo box on the different columns okay so these all information and in the last we are applying the same formatting okay and once everything is done we are protecting that and we are making the column as blank refreshing the worksheet refreshing the all keywords all right friends 
now i will show you the other buttons also this calendar button we have already created the calendar i have created the separate video on this so this calendar is available here and to call this calendar we are using simple call calendar dot selected date and the control name which is the text box file similarly we have created the time picker also and uh, here we are calling that time picker dot selected time and the control name and here also okay so these two buttons and this button now i will show you the txt id also if i double click you can see if the value will be changed here in the txt id then it will check the row number first where it is available okay so we are assigning to the row number whatever value is there using the match function and from that particular row we are filling all the boxes like com combo box and the tax boxes all right now i will show you the employee id also because uh, when we are changing the employee id the employee name supervisor department and designation is filled automatically so just double click here and you can see if the combo box one is blank then everything will be blank otherwise from the employee master we are using a b lookup on the basis of the employee id which is combo box one dot value and let me show you the employee master again this one we are using the vlookup from here till here to fill everything including this text box 9 which is the regular hours let me show you here this one okay so 1 2 3 4 and the 5 boxes will be filled from here so you can see these 5 boxes all right so this is what we are using here in this form now i will show you the module also that is attendance module we have created three sub procedures here to assign on these three buttons first one add new attendance so we have so we are just showing the frm underscore attendance underscore form so and the show model will be false next one is the update attendance and in the update attendance we are just checking whether you have selected the proper id or not after that validation we are showing the form and making the txt id as visible and filling the active cell value in the txt id let me show you how it is working if i click here let's say and i click on update record you can see on the top the 89 which is the id is appearing in this txt id text box if i click on the new then that txt id will not be visible all right so that is how it is working the next one is the next one is the delete attendance again we are checking whether you have selected the proper id or not and then we are using the match function to identify the row number for that particular row and then here we are unprotecting and deleting that row and again protecting all right friends so friends that is how we have created this automation to enter the data properly with all the validations and once we have the data then we have created this beautiful dashboard and these are the support sheet like employee master list and we have created a support sheet also to create the charts on the dashboard we have used this support sheet this is the supervisor wise attendance and this is the supervisor wise leap type and here we have the attendance wise count to show the bifurcation on the pie chart this is to show the trend of the overtime by day and here we have the department wise attendance and here we have the employee wise overtime so same chart we have created here you can see the different charts and then we have inserted the slicer to connect with all the pivots and the slicers are working all right friends so friends that is how we have created this one i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for the watching.